Thank you. Very pleased to hear all the conversation about the American Savings Promotion Act, which I authored along with Derek Kilmer uh, in the House of Representatives to correct this very disparity between credit unions and banks. So when individuals opened a saving account, uh, they could also uh, have a possibility of winning a prize, a financial prize, as opposed to, say, a toaster, which is what I always remember as a teenager in Dardanelle, Arkansas, being offered when I opened a savings account. Um, Ms. Collinson, since the passage uh, almost two years ago of the American Savings Promotion Act, uh, what kind of progress have we seen in the financial services sector of taking advantage of the new opportunities that that bill allows? Um. We, I'll be honest, we have not studied that in our research. And what I can say is that what we are seeing in our research is still too little progress is being made towards uh, promoting and advancing retirement security. And for a number of reasons, I've talked about part-time workers, there's still opportunities to expand coverage among uh, small business especially. And people are still recovering from the recession. So as we look at all these things together, um, there is more that we can do, and um, we will make that a focus of our research. Thank you. Mr. Plum, do you have any thoughts on the kind of progress that's been made in the sector? Uh, you know, again, Senator, I, I think that there's an awareness issue within the industry, um, you know, for people like me that just happened to stumble across something in 2014, you know, I was able to latch onto it, uh, you know, and, and also it gets back to the idea of convincing people in the industry to do it. And, and I think as banks and credit unions are successful with products in this arena, that's when we're going to see more activity come online. Uh, it's just maybe not happen as quickly as I know you all would like to see and certainly I would like to see as well. Any other ideas for steps that Congress might need to take in this space? Um, or for that matter, ideas about uh, whether any of the regulatory agencies are impeding progress and Congress might be able to encourage them to move a bit faster? As I referenced earlier, I mean, I think that whole issue of, of how deposits that might be accumulated through joint venture arrangements and partnerships, I think that's something that certainly deserves uh, uh, some inspection and consideration. And, and it just it's a rule of regulation. It tends to follow what's happening, I think, in the private sector. And so I feel like here the private sector is probably out a little bit ahead of uh, some of the perspectives on that. And, and, and again, I think for a lot of the providers, they're going to want to have that bank partnership. And frankly, from a public policy standpoint, I would think that we want them to have that banking partnership as well, because then funds are in an insured environment as opposed to uh, somebody offering a, an app that says, yeah, we'll, we'll allow you to build balances over time and we'll give you prizes, but it's not going to be within the banking system. Okay. Thank you both. I'll yield back the balance of my time. Thank you very much, Senator, and congratulations on writing that law that is leading to increased savings. Thank you.